What's your name, Steve? Bill. It's okay, Bill. cool. Yeah. Kurt, Kurt Busey. Hey everyone, it's Matthew here from the NOLA Nerdcast live at Comic-Con San Diego, the 50th anniversary, here with a, a person you might have heard about once or twice in the comics industry, uh, Mark Wade. how are you today? Good, your big get is what you're trying to say. That is the biggest of gets. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, so questions, sir, you have questions? Yes, I do have questions. So you are, it, it's, it's hard, I could spend this whole interview just reading down the list of things you have worked on. And tell me how much you like it, you can do that if you want. They've it's all amazing. All right. No, no, no. One point one. You can do that. Oh, okay. I'm so. Oh man. Right. It's... Okay. Later. <laughs> but no, uh, it, you are so prolific across literally almost every studio. Pretty much. I mean, you go from the super dark and serious, and then you also do like a seminal run on Archie, and, of all things. Yeah. And uh, how does it feel to just know that you are everywhere? It's. <laughs> it's. I don't take it for granted. Because the moment you take it for granted, then suddenly you're not in comics anymore. Uh, and I wake up every morning thinking, all right, well, they're going to catch on. But not so far. I'm very grateful nobody's had a career like this. I, I don't know what I did to earn it or deserve it, but no one gets a career like this where I didn't have to pick up the phone for 30 years. Um, and I'm very grateful about that. That's awesome. So everyone has, like, you know, Batman, Daredevil, everything. What is a book that you wish your fans would uh, give a shot that they might not know that you did? That they might not know I did. That's a good question. Um, it's the only kind I have. I, <laughs> um, I, you know what? Here you go. We did a book called Insufferable. Me, Pete Krause and I did. The team who gave you Irredeemable. Yeah. We did a book called Insufferable that we launched on my Thrill Bent digital platform. Uh, but we also did hard copies through IDW, and it's one of my favorite things I've ever done. So, insufferable. It's basically what if, what if Robin grew up to be a jerk? And so it's the Batman dynamic, Batman Robin dynamic, if Robin grew up to be Kanye West. And I love that whole like universe of books, incorruptible, irredeemable, everything. They were just real good. Thank you, man. Uh, now, you might notice that we are in front of a booth many might not have heard of. Uh, this is a new company, new-ish, like in America, in a correct? New, new in America, right. Humanoids. They've been, yeah, they've been in, in Europe for 40 years. They've been you know, publishing Mobius's work, been publishing a lot of seminal work over there, but they're trying to break in the American market now and successfully. Uh, and so the launch was three monthly comics. Ignited is the one that I'm doing with Kwanzaa, and it is essentially what if the Parkland Survivor kids got superpowers, and what would they do with them pushing back against this kind of crap? Um, that's one of the books. The other book is one of the other books is Omni by Devin Grayson. It's about a super smart uh, African American surgeon who uh, bedside manner needs some work, but she's got pretty amazing power. And it, it's it's hard to explain, but once you see the visuals on it, right. it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Now, how did uh, that partnership come about? How did you get attached with Humanoids? Uh, they, uh, there was a guy named Judd Myers who was there, he owned the store that I wore, that I loved there, Blast Off Comics in New York, in uh, Los Angeles. And he went to work for them as their marketing director, and I've known Judd for 15 years. Okay. So he gave them the thumbs up and came in, met with them just to do a book. But we, the more we talked with the owners and stuff, it seemed like I had something to contribute in terms of a director of creative development, which is now what I am there. Nice. Bringing in new talent and working on established properties and just, again, just trying to help shepherd them away from some of the habits that work in Europe but don't work here. I mean, that shows you how much I knew because I just thought you were like writing just one of the books. No, yeah. no, 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 yeah. Director of creative development. Congratulations. So, so respect, man. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I know you're busy because you're Mark Wade and it's Comic-Con on Saturday. So we like to end on a very uh, hard-hitting question. I, okay. This might be hard. I'm Is sorry. sneakers? It might be. Okay. Look at these sneakers. Just pan down. How did this even come about? Like, these are some fresh-looking kicks. This is my empirical idea of what sneakers should look like. And so Adidas had a portal where you could go and design your own sneaks. So I did it. Got one pair. Everywhere I went, compliments every 30 minutes. Got three more pair just like it. Been wearing those, and they closed the portal. Oh, no. And they stopped doing it. And if I'd known that, I would have bought a dozen more pair. So for the convention, for, for San Diego this year, I cracked out. I went into the stock. I went into my valuable, has to last me the rest of my life stock, and cracked out a new pair. Well, we are honored. And the final question that we end every show on, yeah. if you have to choose in your heart of hearts, yeah. cake or pie? Oh, that, that's cake. I'm going cake. I'm Fair. going cake. Yeah, I mean, I get pie, um, but cake. That's fair. I just want you to know, Ed Brubaker said pie and said cake people are crazy. So if we want to start a feud, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it's Ed. 
It's Ed. What are you, you going to listen to, really? <laughs> Who's Captain America was better, really? Oh, so. are you putting me on the spot? No, no, no. No, okay. no, no. Don't have to answer. You can answer it's later. Rhetorical. Okay. It's rhetorical. Okay. It's rhetorical. There you go. Thank you so you much for talking pleasure. to us. Have Bye. a great day.